Hello everybody, this is uh, episode number one of uh, series Let's Make Text Editor and uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, build uh, text editor, um, current version, it's not finished version, how to download source code, how to download uh, all dependencies or all needed dependencies, build it and run it. So uh, first of all let's open. So this is a, a fresh installed uh, Ubuntu 12.04 uh, and uh, I am hoping um, in, in doing things for different version of Ubuntu going to be uh, more or less similar. So first of all we uh, we want to go to github github.com and um, I think I have to go to Anton T. Okay and um, you can see um, repository repositories text editor. So uh, if you want to go directly to these things you have to type like github and t text editor so you will uh, appear here and uh, what you need you need uh, url you need this url to clone uh, source code from from github and uh, because uh, i'm not logged in here uh, i can uh, clone only with uh, reading permission and I will not able to push uh, things but you will uh, register here and you will able to uh, clone with uh, writing permissions so let's run terminal uh, this is a terminal and we need just type here git clone and this URL and git is not installed I expected it and actually uh, Ubuntu is quite nice and suggesting to use um, this line to install git. So I'm typing it and I'm typing password, my password and it's installing. So it's going to install all dependencies for git, we just hitting enter, let me make it bigger. Okay, git installed, so we can run clone again. It's not too much, uh, there is not too much commits and there is not too much uh, source code, so it was quite fast. And uh, to be able to build the project, we need uh, my my build system and it's, it's um, build system CPP. So we need to clone it too. I'm copying URL from here, insert from boot buffer, from clipboard and I'm cloning it. And uh, let's go inside build system, uh, we need to just run deploy and uh, as we see GCC is not installed so we need to install GCC and also Ubuntu is quite nice and it's suggesting how to install it. So sudo apt-get install g++ also it's pulling all dependencies okay and let's try to deploy it again um, it needs um, boost file system HPP uh, and uh, right now Ubuntu cannot help us uh, but we can use um, apt file to find the needed packet package up to file and of course it's not installed yet so we need to install it okay um, up to file installed and uh, instantly uh, there is a some icon appeared and it's uh, saying like up file need need to uh, scan everything and update its own database so let's say do it and also it's saying file is now using user cache directory if you want to switch back to system wide cache directory so I think uh, for, for us it's fine because um, um, 
I'm going to use only one user so it doesn't matter where uh, like it will work for all users or only for me because all users it's also only me okay it's done and uh, uh, let's see again the error message then I try to deploy my build system so it needs file system dot uh, hpp so let's use apt file search file system dot hpp and it's saying um, I need I can install uh, libboost 1.46 or 1.48 and let's uh, install new other one uh, so I'm going to copy it copy sudo apt get install paste okay let's try again to deploy my build system and um, it's complaining about uh, boost system and boost file system uh, interesting for some reason it it cannot find it okay and looks like true hmm. uh, let's use again apt um, file and for now we will search for lib boost system so actually it should be in the ah what did I install before apt lib boost but i did not install a lib boost system okay so mm, i need to install this thing and probably i need to do same thing for for file actually i was thinking um okay i mean it's should be fine and uh, i need to do same thing file system so it's saying I have to install this thing. And let's try deploy it again. Um, uh, this is fine. It's uh, it's trying to uh, move uh, binary build to folder um, home Anton build bin build and folder build does not exist. And um, for sake of uh, simplicity right now I'm going to just move uh, build to uh, system bi uh, folder binary and the reason why I'm moving uh, this thing to uh, local like for user uh, bin folder it's uh, because and I set up my system to pick all binaries from this folder uh, because I do not want to uh, use uh, type my password every time then I want to move something inside the bin uh, folder and here is it you you see I'm using sudo to to get um, super user permissions for for this thing so let's test it it should uh, let me test it somewhere here yeah so looks like it's working mm. so uh, let's try to build text editor cd text editor so there is all files and I just should type build and uh, of course it will not work but we will see some errors and uh, be able to understand hopefully I will explain what these errors means and what we have to do so first of all it's saying like there is no sdl.h and I'm using sdl2 and uh, uh, ubuntu 12.04 doesn't have uh, sdl2 so what I need, I need to download it and uh, install it in, in, in the system without using uh, handy apt-get. So let's search for SDL. Oh my gosh. SDL. There is a homepage, libsdl.org. And uh, there is a download. And I suggest uh, use... Um, oops use latest and greatest um, so it's there is a, we should have some link to 
Mercurial Repository. Here is it, SDL Mercurial. SDL Mercurial and there is a instruction how to clone the SDL library. And just do it, let's do it. Um, let me open um, in our tab uh, terminal in terminal. I don't know how to, <laughs> how to do it from menu, so I just will use uh, uh, command uh, hotkeys. So and I'm going to root uh, directory, paste, SDL clone. So it's also saying there is a Mercurial is missing, so I just install Mercurial. It's something similar as um, git, like source, source control thing. Okay, Mercurial is installed, so let's try to clone SDL again. So it's um, cloned and um, I'm going to inside the folder and um, we can do like uh, config, make and then uh, run from uh, super user make install but I prefer to do um, to make the package so to make the package we have to do like build build package air fake root dash b something like this and it will make uh, debian packages and also check uh, as you see all the all um, dependencies um, so it needs all these uh, kind of dependencies and uh, i mean we can just install it just copy and paste up the sudo get install and just copy paste it copy paste and also i need to remove this thing and uh, we should be good i think for newer uh, version of uh, ubuntu you do not need to install sdl from from source code you there is uh, already existing um, packages Okay, uh, let's try to build package again. Packages. It will make several packages. It will make uh, DF package, and like not not one. Okay, uh, we should have in my uh, home directory all these uh, Debian packages and I'm not sure can I use apt-get to install it. Let's try. I'm I, I'm pretty sure I cannot do this thing, but no, trying is not, doesn't hurt. Probably I need to do something like this. Mm. Probably I can do this. Okay, so um, we need to use um, dp uh, install. I think it's. Uh, I'm not sure. I forgot. Let me Google for it. I think it's dash i. And I need to install two packages. Okay. Good it. So I need this thing and this thing. Should work. Okay. It's installed and we can try to build um, our text editor again. Build. And also it needs 
the SDL TTF. So let's do same magic what we did with SDL. I'm going just to search for it. Gosh, it's not behaving. Ah, here is it. I can search here. SDL TTF. Okay. And let's see Mercurial repository. So copy it and go to my home directory hg clone and this url and it's going to clone it okay and i'm going to run dpg dpkg build package uh, dpkg dash build package and uh, it wants lib free type dot the uh, dash uh, dash def so sudo apt get install install oops wrong and try again to build package okay uh, we should have sdl dash ttf and dp key g and uh, also i think we need to put to this guy and this guy cool let's try to build it again we done here is it my text editor um, and uh, i can move cursor here i think ah no i cannot i can type because uh, i'm still on the on the different branch so git how to see all branches <laughs> i'm used to use emacs and uh, i kind of do not know how to do it from command line git show all branches and why i need to know this thing if if i have google right git branch dash r dash a or dash r what difference i have no idea so git branch dash a git checkout um and i am on this branch can i just do this thing copy paste so and let's build again and now hopefully i will able to move cursor right i can make cur I can move cursor and it will should scroll yep so that's it Thank you for watching. Um, for Windows, I didn't, I have no idea how to build it for Windows because um, I don't have Windows. But uh, you can see what kind of dependencies uh, the projects have, and uh, it's not too much. So it's definitely doable to build it under Windows. And I'm sure I I build it for Mac, and probably then I will figure out how to make screencast under Mac. Um, I will make the video how to build everything for Mac and if I did not to, will, to do it shouldn't be very hard and basically what you need you need the brew uh, this, this thing it's kind of a packaging thing for uh, for Mac and um, yeah I, I'm using this thing and I, I, I will able to build uh, my text editor under Mac using Brew. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time. Bye.